In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the issue price of a bond when the bond pays interest on a semi-annual basis. So the issue price of the bond is still going to be the sum of two things. You're going to have the present value of the lump sum. That's the amount that the investor in the bond would be repaid when the bond matures. So you've got that present value plus the present value of the interest payments that are going to be made along the way. And I've got the formula to calculate each of these, but we're going to make a couple of adjustments because of the fact that the bonds are, are paying interest on a semi-annual basis. For example, this N is going to be adjusted. So if we're thinking about a five-year bond, for example, we're going to recognize now that, hey, it's even though it's five years, the N is going to be 10 because N is the number of periods, not necessarily the number of years. Okay, and we're also gonna have to adjust uh, the rate of interest by dividing it by two. Let me show you an example, it'll be a little bit easier to understand. So let's say that we've got Babu's Chocolate Factories uh, issuing $100,000 of five-year bonds, and the bonds are gonna pay interest every six months. They're gonna pay interest semi-annually, and the stated rate if we were to think about it on an annual basis, it would be 7%, but we're going to have to divide that by 2, right? We're going to have to divide that by 2, so we really say that it's 3.5%. Okay, so instead of paying $7,000 of interest every year, it's going to pay $3,500 of interest. Okay, so that's, that, that's the interest payment every six months, I should say, not annually. This is $3,500 in interest every six months. Okay? So for the entire year, it's still $7,000. So that's the stated rate of interest. Now, the market rate of interest is 9%, but we're going to divide that by 2. We're going to divide that by 2, so that gives us 4.5%. Now, I just plug in these numbers, so we've got our 4.5%. Uh, so that's going to be used if we come to our formula for the present value of a lump sum. So that's that face value, $100,000. we are going to divide it instead of by... 1.09 to the fifth, which we'd be doing if we had uh, annual interest. We're going to divide that by two, that 9%. So that gives us 4.5. So we've got 1.045, and it's raised to the tenth power because there are 10 periods. There are 10 periods, okay? So we don't care about how many years they are, right? So the years, we multiply the five times two. That gives us our n. So our n is equal to 10. There are 10 periods, okay? So that will give us the present value of that lump sum of 100,000. It's telling us what that 100,000 is worth uh, 10, 10 periods from now. And now we've got 3,500 in interest being made, uh, payments being made every six months. And so here, we just plug in our formula from above. And now we've got one minus 1.045 to the negative 10th. And again, it's 10 periods. And always we're using this market rate, right? We're not using the stated rate. We're not using the coupon rate that the bonds pay interest at. We're using the market rate. So that's 0 0.045. And if you calculate this out, you will get an issue price of $92,087. Okay, so this is the issue price. This is the issue price of the bonds. So if Babu came to you, Babu came to you and said, hey, uh, I want to issue these bonds and, and they're going to pay interest semi-annually and here's how much interest it'll pay and so forth. And you went and looked at the market rate of interest and you were telling Babu, well, how much cash do you expect to get for those bonds? Babu should expect to get $92,087. And the reason for that is that the bonds are being issued at a discount. The bonds are being issued at a discount because the market rate of interest, right, 9%, or if you want to think about it, divided by 2, for our purposes, this is here 4.5%, is higher than the rate that's being paid by Babu's bonds, right? So we say that this is basically we, the bonds are sold to yield that market rate, right? And so that's just kind of, you know, bond uh, terminology there. But the bonds are issued at a discount of 92 So the investors, even though they're getting the right, to get $100,000 five years from now, plus all the interest, because the interest is a, a lower rate than the market, they only have to pay $92,087 for the right to receive $100,000 five years from now, plus those interest payments of $3,500 every six months.